Hey guys, uh, this is Coach Azim. I just wanted to go over a few things here on the uh, map. So this is the area where we row. If I zoom in a little bit right here, this is Thompson's Boathouse. We carry our boats right here and uh, launch. So just a few things. When we go this way, this is the key bridge. It has big, long, tall arches. So if we say go towards the key bridge, you want to launch this way. Now, the good rule of thumb here, always, we launch always in the key bridge direction. So the bow ball, when you're putting the boat on the dock, should always face towards this key bridge. And if we tell you to go there, just paddle up and wait here. Do not w wait in the middle of the river or on the opposite side. Do not go past this pier and do not get close to the pier. There will be boats there once the weather picks up. So you want to hang out right here, no further than that. Now, if we go past the key bridge, always stay on the right side of the river when you're going this way, going through either the first or the second arch, preferably. Once you go past it, here you will find uh, islands. They're called the Three Sisters. And as you can see from the very top, it's very shallow around here. So we do not ever turn here or past here. We also never stop here anywhere near the Three Sisters because this is a narrow body right here. It's the only pathway now. So it's dangerous to stop and it's dangerous to get close to the shallow water because you can get stuck or hit a rock that you cannot see, okay? Going past the Three Sisters, you wanna stay right where this boat is, this little tiny thing, okay? And then do not get anywhere close to here. Row past this point right here, there's an opening. There's a huge opening right here that you see. Go right towards that opening and then you can cut over to the right side of the river. Again, always stay on the right side of the river just like a road always pass on the outside. If you cannot pass on the outside and you have to go, that's the only time you can go on the inside, but always communicate that to the person that you're passing. Okay, now going the other way, the south way, the first bridge that you will see is the Roosevelt Bridge. It's the ugly looking one. And here, if you ever launch, obviously you'll be going this way, this way, this way, and you'll probably make a turn and then go towards the bridge. When you make this turn, first you have to stop and look if anybody's coming. If anybody's coming, do not go. If nobody's coming, then go quickly. You do not want to cross in a very slow way because one, the current of the river will wobble your boat and make it uncomfortable. And with high waves, sometimes you could put water into your boat. And two, you are taking up way too much of the lanes, okay? It's like having a car go across the lanes and blocking the entire roadway. So you gotta make a turn and pull over. Now, right across our boathouse here, as you can see, is a huge shallow area. You do not wanna uh, get close there during low tide because you can hit bottom and break your rudder or get stuck. So always keep it nice, wide, or give enough yourself plenty of room here. This would be too far. Do not get in the middle of the river. As you go south past the Roosevelt Bridge, go through either the first or the middle arch, and you continue on. Right below this, the, the bridge, as you can see, is Roosevelt Island, okay? And past it is extremely shallow, and on the opposite side is also shallow. So, when going close to it, give yourself plenty of room. It's really hard to see the shallowness when you're close to the river or to the waterline. So just always be rule of thumb when going past the Roosevelt Island, give yourself plenty of room. Conversely, on the other side, if you're going past and you see the Roosevelt Island on the other side, here there's a lot of sediment as well, right in front of these huge steps that you see in front of the Lincoln Memorial that you will see. Um, that you do not want to get close here as well. Stay nice and parallel and pointed right here in the middle of the first arch of the Roosevelt Bridge. Now, when we say DC side, that's the side of Washington DC. When we say Virginia side, that's gonna be Virginia side right here. 
Another bridge is called the Memorial Bridge. It's very pretty, it's white, it's uh, like marble looking, and it's uh, got arches. So that, that's what tells you. When you go past it though, you see there's still a little bit of construction. I'm not sure if it's still there yet, but you also all, all of a sudden on a really big open water. Here, the water gets a little bit more rough because there's a little less stuff protecting it. And there's gonna be a lot more boat traffic once the weather picks up, motorboats, which will cause a lot of waves, okay? So most of the time for uh, stuff uh, that doesn't include speed work, we will not be going that way. Now, going north, once we go past the uh, Three Sisters, the body of water narrows down, as you can see, and there's more rocks and stuff like that. So there's another point right here where you wanna go very, very slowly. Do not stop here, do not stop there. Definitely never stop in front of the rocks. So go past them, um, either past them or stop before them, like right here. Um, and pull over to the right, okay? You never wanna be in the way. As you can see, there's more rocks, which means it's more shallowness uh, going north. So there, we can go um, pretty easily, but we cannot just constantly uh, go uh, anywhere we want. We have to be very much aware about staying on the right side of the river. Now, it does get a little slightly wider and then goes back to narrow, okay? So, when coxswains are when I have two boats out, I expect them to be close to each other. If they are too far apart, the boat that's too far ahead needs to add a couple of pause drills, maybe at the finish or at hands away, in order to slow down and can allow for the other boat to pass, to catch up, okay? I also want boats close to each other, either parallel or right behind each other. I never want to see them going in opposite ways and I never want them to, to be uh, actually pointed in different directions. So those are the few things that I want you to think about for today. Okay, thank you.